or roll of the dice, or the do it. <laughs> she shall prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die. I'm through with all of you. I'll get even. Just wait. You'll be sorry. Run, Lemmy! Want to fight? Want to have a wizard's duel? If I lose my temper, you lose your head. I'm you took away my future. I'm simply returning the favor. Yeah, I mean, we can just end the interview there. How are you feeling? I feel fine. I'm completely confident. I'm undefeated. There's really no reason for me to think that I won't 3 P. you know? No preparation. I just show up and win. First overall, I'm going to draft Oogie Boogie. Jamie seems to think that I'm just going to let her have Oogie Boogie, but... Sit back, relax, and watch me crush Jamie again. And then we'll do it again next year and the year after that. There's three things that are guaranteed in life. Death, taxes, and me beating Jamie at Villainous. I feel so good. Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? Because I'm on a winning streak. I've been winning on camera. I'm feeling good. I've had lots of practice. In fact, let me just tell you about a few ways that I've been practicing, okay? Number one, I've been pushing little kids around because that's what villains do. Number two, I've been getting coached by my favorite villains via their movies. Number three, I have tattooed my idol onto my body. Okay, I am channeling the villains. There is no way now for me to lose. He's had extra practice, number one. He's been able to play with the updated versions of the old characters, which I have not had the opportunity to do. Um, and I think he's just got like this air about him, you know, it's cockiness. I'm not gonna lose, I'm not gonna lose. I'm not gonna lose. Past doesn't matter. The past is behind you, okay? And what else is behind you? Butts. Welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about me winning at Villainous. And me winning at Villainous more than Jeff. Historically and factually incorrect. Any hoozles. So we are back again for year three of our Villainous tournament. Now, for anybody that has missed year one and year two, feel free to go back and watch them, but just know that the first two years were just warm up for me practice some might sounds say. like a loser attitude anywho so what we do in our villainous tournament for anyone that's new is jeff and i are competing against each other jamie versus jeff we are each going to be drafting a team of 11 villains from all disney villainous sets we will not be playing star wars or marvel mm -hmm. okay we will be doing snake draft correct we will be rolling a die to see who gets to draft first, and it's just going to kind of go from there. Now, there are a few things that we'd like to cover before we get started. Number one, nobody said that we were actually good at Villainous. So if we do not make optimal plays, sorry, when we do not make optimal plays, it's okay. Number two, Will we make rules mistakes? Absolutely. Yes. You're welcome to correct them in the comments, but all you're going to get back from us is cool. Thank you. 
thanks. It's just gonna happen. We're playing for fun, so keep that in mind. Number three, just like our previous villainous tournaments, just like our dice throne tournaments, you will not be seeing full gameplays, okay? So you're gonna see some of the highlights, some of the big moments, some of the funny commentary maybe, but most of it is going to be kind of sped up because we have 11 matchups and we are going to try our darndest to do them all in one day. I don't know if it's possible. This is obviously the biggest one that we've ever done because every year it gets bigger, bigger, bigger. Yeah. So we're going to do our absolute best, right? Correct. And just one more thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is single elim elimination. Yes. So if a villain loses or gets picked and played, that's it. They don't come back into the tournament. We are going to basically each round each pick a villain. Those two villains will play. That'll be a win for Jamie or for me. Whoever has the most wins at the end wins the tournament. Yes. Uh, which will be me as we have historically it will not be seen Jeff, in the last two for years. For sure it will not be. Uh, there are 11 matchups that are going to be happening, which means that there will be an ultimate winner. There will be no draw. There will be no comeback for a final match. Mm -hmm. It just is what it is. This is it. This is it. Here we go. One more thing before we get started. We'll actually roll Oogie Boogie's dice, which mm -hmm. I think will be fun. One more thing before we get started is that this year we're actually going to be holding a giveaway for a couple of villainous items, mm -hmm. right? And this giveaway is sponsored by Ravensburger. So a huge shout out to Ravensburger, who uh, not only gave us the Oogie Boogie set, but they also gave us the new updated version of the original set, which Correct. is this that you can see right here introduction to evil so we will be playing with the updated original characters and that's captain hook prince john ursula, and ursula. and maleficent you can tell because yes. their pawns are like metallic versus the mm -hmm. regular clear yep. resin i don't know what it's made of yep. so the winner of our giveaway is going to be winning a copy of introduction to evil as well as the oogie boogie filled with fright expand alone uh, because you can't play oogie boogie by himself so yeah. you're going to need some friends for oogie boogie Correct. so the way that you're going to enter the giveaway is you're going to comment below who is your all-time favorite disney villain i would love to know the answer to that question other than that we'll contact you if you're the winner and then once again shout out to ravensburger for sponsoring the much giveaway. much love to ravensburger all right, Jeff, we are going to be rolling the Oogie Boogie dice because Oogie Boogie comes higher. with the dice. Okay, we need to express this. Whoever gets the high roll gets to pick where they draft. Yes. Not necessarily first overall. Correct. But Jamie really wants Oogie Boogie. You want to know what that is, peeps? That's a six. And of course, I got a five. That's a six. Here's a fun fact. I don't want first overall pick. I want second overall pick. So Jamie, you are up. Actually, it's probably good that you did that because if I got second, I was going right for the queen of hearts because I know Jeff really wants her. Okay, so snake draft for anybody that doesn't know, I'm going to pick, then Jeff will pick twice, then I will pick twice, Jeff will pick twice. So it's kind of like... One, two, two, one, one, two. Is a snake. Yeah. Okay, so my first overall pick, the first overall pick of the 2023 Villainous Tournament is going to be Oogie Boogie. See, here's the difference between Jamie and I. How cute. I'm here to win. He's so cute. Jamie's here for, I don't even know what. He's a spider on his butt. All right, take the board. I uh, have two picks back to back. Mm -hmm. My first pick uh, as Jamie already alluded to, I do not see her. Oh, there she is. I'm going to be taking Queen of Farts with my first pick. More like Queen of Farts. <laughs> Good joke. And for my second pick in the 2023 20, Villainous Draft, I am going to take Captain Hook. Okay, I kind of expected that. There are certain characters that we both lean towards, and Jeff has already taken two of his. So I have two picks. I am going to very obviously be taking Yzma. Can you put your tokens in front of you? I almost took Yzma just to uh, pee you off. Now people can see our little lineups. I have the ones that are super fun to play, and I have ones that I feel confident I can win with. Mm-hmm. 
But I'm going to be taking the evil queen. Figured. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's back to me for two. Yeah. I'm going to take Scar. Okay. Oh, wait. No. No, no, no. What am I talking about? That's not what I want. I want Jafar. Why did I say Scar? Jafar. Kind of sounds the same. There's some really good options out right now. Yeah, and there's also some really bad ones. <laughs> I will take Pete. Well, I will be taking the mistress. Our guest on board is. Yeah, I broke it. Sorry. Um, I will be taking the mistress of evil, Maleficent. <laughs> this is going exactly how I expected it to. Uh huh. Now, this is where I'd like to pick somebody that I really enjoy playing, mm -hmm. but is not easy to win with, which I know is not the right strategy. I'm going to pick Madam Mim. I just love her. Okay. All right, back to me for two. My team is all purple and green. <laughs> I'm on a red and black. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I'm between a few options here, and yeah. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm going to take Dr. Facilier. Mm-hmm. Jeff tends to love Dr. Facilier. And I'm often... actually surprised I didn't take him earlier. Yeah. And you like then... playing with him more than I do. I'm going to take Prince John. He was going to be in my next pick. Yeah, I figured as much. I am going to take Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil. We don't stray much year over year. We do don't. We? Pass me Lady Tremaine. Okay, I figured that was coming. <laughs> I just want to play with my favorite. These two are easy for me. I'm going to take Radigan. Yeah. And then Scar. Okay. Uh, got a bunch of duds left. Not that these characters are duds. They're just ones we don't... Uh, we don't tend there's, to... There's a couple left that I'd be fine to get. There's some here that I don't want at all. There's, a, there's two in particular that I want nothing to do with. I kind of... I want to take Ursula because I have I don't have any oh I do but I I haven't played with her updated and you said that she was better now I did prefer her at Gen Con yep okay and then I'll take Gaston mm -hmm. I broke him so I better take him so my next two are gonna be I'm gonna take Hades okay uh, I know Jamie's fine with that but I actually uh, do like Hades so normally I would take Horn King. I do like Horn King, but he's difficult and Jamie's never played as him. So I kind of want to put her in a position where she needs to either pick Lotso or Horn King. Um, I'm assuming she'd pick Horn King and try and figure it out, but um, I'm, I'm going to take Syndrome. Okay. I, that was the one that I did not want. Just in general, I don't like that character. Give me Mother Gothel. Because mothers know best. Mother Gothel was left out of the tournament last year. She because was. She was. We had odd numbers. Here's the thing. The other character that I absolutely did not want was the Horn King. Lotso is just annoying. Just so annoying at two players. You know what? I'm just going to take the risk and I will go with the Horn King. All right. That leaves me with Lotso. Even though I prefer Lotso as a character. All right. Horn King's too scary. Okay, so let's go over our teams and then we are going to get into the games. I, uh, Team Jeff, Team 2023 uh, Victory Train. Here's something funny I just noticed. L -l 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 Ladies. Yeah. yeah. This is just how my brain works. I want a team of women, and I would have had the Queen of Hearts if I was able to pick her. So how we determine who we're going to play in each matchup is Jeff and I actually will secretly choose one of the boards, and then we will reveal it to each other. You show yours first. Three, two, one. Mother Gothel versus Lotso, so clearly we're trying to get <laughs> these ones out of the way. So in the original base game, uh, first player started with no power, second player would start with one power, third player would start with two, etc. In the updated rulebook, each player starts with two power. So we're going to use the updated rulebook. Yes. So um, we each started with two. Yeah. 
So our first matchup is Mother Gothel versus Lotso Bear, who smells of strawberries. Easy to defeat. Mother Gothel, want me to be the bad guy? Fine, now I'm the bad guy. Lotso, you're a piece of plastic. You were meant to be thrown away. Rude. All right, we're gonna roll for first, even though technically that's not the rules. All right, I'll go first anyway. Bow. All right, so general, very quick overview of Villainous. This is a 1v1 game. We each have an objective that we are trying to achieve. We are trying to achieve that objective, which we'll go over at the beginning of each matchup by playing out cards and by fading each other. The white decks are our fate decks. I will be fading Jeff, trying to hinder him from reaching his objective, and he will be doing the same thing to me. That is essentially the game. Cards are paid for with power, which are these little doohickeys here. Every time you need to move your little figure to another location on the board, you cannot remain in the same location unless you have some kind of a special power that lets you do that. Yeah, I just wanna quickly correct one thing. Uh, it's a 1v like one, but you can play. Sure, yeah. As, We're playing it as a 1v1. Yeah, you can like play it 1v1v1, v, v1, like 1v many, I guess. Yeah. Or I don't know what the terminology is for that. But. Sure thing. All right. Mother Gothel's objective is to start your turn with at least 10 trust. So these are power tokens, but throughout the game, I am doing things to take these power tokens from the supply, putting them on my board, and these are now considered trust. So I can't spend them as power. They remain on my board, and there's different things that will make me lose them, but I need to start my turn with 10. Okay, so I what I really want is I want Rapunzel to stay in the tower, because that means I'm gaining her trust. If she ever gets to Corona, I lose trust, so I don't want Rapunzel zipping over to Corona, right? We've all heard of coronavirus. Nobody wants that for poor Rapunzel. So that's what I am trying to do. Gain trust, keep control of Rapunzel. Rebellious little thing she is. Uh, Lotso's objective is to have four, four heroes with zero strength and Buzz Lightyear in the Caterpillar room. So this is the Caterpillar room. Lotso works a little bit differently. Instead of vanquishing heroes and removing them, I'm actually vanquishing them and putting these little uh, decreased strength tokens on them. And when they're at zero, um, that's basically, they're defeated, but I also then need to get them into the Caterpillar room. Buzz Lightyear can be on either side uh, for triggering my win condition. I have cards that will basically flip Buzz, bring him to my side and let me use him for my own benefit. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, Sir. Where do I want to go, Jeff? We'll go here. Game three. Okay, I will play out Royal Rider for two, and he's an ally. Ally. These cards are really good, but they're not really good for right now. I'll fate you to start. So when you fate, you draw two cards. Ow, Sorry. you elbowed me. I'm going to attach frying pan to Rapunzel. What? She is now a five. Oh, okay. No big deal. MBD, no big deal. Rapunzel should have moved at the end of my last turn, so I just have to remember to, re to move her at the end of every turn. I'm gonna go here. I can move a card and I can play a card and I can vanquish um, and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna first do my fate action. And neither of these do anything because Jeff doesn't have any strength and he doesn't have an ally. So that's a waste of a fate, which is fun. Um, I am going to perform a vanquish action with Royal Rider because he has three, four, five strength and Rapunzel's currently at five because of the frying pan. So, and he can attack adjacent mm -hmm. to an adjacent location. So he will defeat, she will move back, he will get discarded. I'm going to play Pascal. Oh. When Rapunzel moves to Pascal's location, move her one location towards Corona. I will play Patchy Stabbington <laughs> for three. 
And when Patchy Stabbington is played to Rapunzel's location, you may move Rapunzel to Rapunzel's tower. There she goes. All right, so I could play another card and I can discard. So I will play Revenge. Perform a Vanquish action. If you defeat a hero other than Rapunzel, gain one trust. Bah. So I'll gain a trust, but because I've defeated Flynn Rider, I'll actually gain an extra two. Yeah, I did not want to put him out. Do, 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 do. Thanks, Patchy. I'm going to play Original Factory Settings. Flip, flip Buzz Lightyear to Demo Mode let Buzz Lightyear and move him to any location at the bottom of Watso's Realm. All heroes lose one strength. I have none out. Is Buzz considered a hero? Uh, he is currently an ally. So I can't use either of these. Because you don't have any heroes! Your faith deck has been fun for me. Gain one trust. Okay, and that's everything I can do. So Rapunzel has to move. When she moves to Pascal's location, she has to go to Garona. Garona matters. Me? Yep. I want to eat. I want to eat after sandwiches. this. Yeah, I want a sandwich. I want a freaking sandwich. I'm going to play aging, and I'm going to remove an item with two or less cost from your realm. I'll remove hairbrush. You brat. Around. You brat. It's probably good for you to get rid of my second fate action because yeah. I keep doing it. Just gonna keep mm. spamming those bad boys. And I will play I Love You Most. If Mother Gothel and Rapunzel are at the same location, gain one trust. If Mother Gothel and Rapunzel are at Rapunzel's tower, gain one additional trust. Pop, pop. Damn. I'm almost halfway there. <laughs> mm. Living on a prayer. Right. Me? It's funny because this matchup in particular is probably going to be the longest Correct. one. Like, yeah. Hello, I'm going to go here, gain three, and do trois. And I can play a card and I can discard a card. So I'm gonna discard that one. And I will play Revenge. Perform a Vanquish action if you defeat a hero. Oh. You don't have any allies out. Ally. I will play Royal Rider <laughs> for two. Um. <laughs> That's everything that I can do. So I'll draw two, and Rapunzel's gonna actually move to Corona. Because it has to go. Gain three. I'll get rid of that little, little worm. Oh. <laughs> I love him, Jeff. He's on my body. Whoa, Pascal. Little body. So I can discard and play a card. You know I'm gonna play Aging, discard an ally or item with strength two or less. I will discard Royal Rider. It's quite annoying. Isn't it? Quite yeah, it's very... annoying. And I can discard cards. Let down your hair. If Rapunzel is at Rapunzel's tower, gain one trust. Otherwise, move Rapunzel up to two locations towards her top. Or... <laughs> yeah, do that. Well, it's fine because it's just, yeah, it's gonna... you're not gonna lose power. Yeah, really. I'll have to move her back, but then she's just gonna be yeah. back there. It is what it is. That's it. That's all I can do. And she's gonna go. Whoop. She is sneaky, that one. Pascal is super annoying. Yeah, no kidding. I'm going to play Welcome to Sunnyside. Reveal cards from the top of your fate deck until you reveal a hero. Play that hero to the caterpillar room. Discard the rest. Try again. Those are all effects. Yeah. If at first you don't succeed. Well, I think there's only a few heroes in this here. Is how and try again. Well, I know Rex it. is still in there. Not it. That's not it. There he is. Well, I can't play either of them, so that's fine. That'll be my turn. Oh my god. I keep drawing the same cards over. Me? 
Here oh, you go. Oh, yeah, but I have to lose trust. All right, I'm at one trust, one of 10. Mm. Concede. <laughs> okay, I fate you. Zero out of 10. Would not recommend fading me. I will gain two power, which those were trust. I will play. <laughs> nope. No. No. Wrong. I'm going to go here. Mm -hmm. I will play Royal Guard. When Royal Guard is moved, you may move a hero from Royal Guard's previous location to his new location. Doesn't matter. I will vanquish Pascal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is my turn. Don't forget to lose power. Or, uh, trust. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to see that. Okay. Don't worry. All heroes in the Caterpillar room... Caterpillar... <laughs> Caterpillar... Caterpillar room lose strength equal to the number of heroes in the Caterpillar room. You just killed a bunch of them. I hope you're happy. She's got a bunch of broken toys over so there. Nice. Now they're like forky. Trash. Get in there, Jeff. I'm trying. Not me. I'm trying. Not and me. I can play a card. Doesn't really matter which one, but I'll leave Jesse. I like this apples. is going to be a three hour match. I like I'm not this, Jeff. Well, stop feeding me then. I mean, to be fair, I've. I've been one turn away from winning multiple times. And you keep doing <laughs> you keep doing these little things that just drag out for another four turns. Well Um Okay, me? Yep. Man. I I had you multiple times. Yeah. So what happened near the end is you kept moving stuff. Mm -hmm. I had enough to do the damage I needed. Mm -hmm. I just needed them to be there. So I basically, I basically had to concede at the end because there's just no way. Anyways, the point is Mother Gothel has been defeated. Jeff's got one win. We I got, never would have thought I want, would get a win with Lotso. It's so. only, I think, because I picked her. That's it's not a good start. It's for not you. a good start. All right, we're back from lunch, okay? We're full of sandwich. And also I had a Kit Kat. And also now we have coffee. So we're good to go, right? Three, two, one, Cruella de Vil. Syndrome. Hmm. The next matchup is between Madame Cruella de Vil, as well as the dweeb known as Syndrome. So Cruella de Vil, I'll get even, just wait, you'll be sorry. Syndrome, you can't count on anyone, especially your heroes. Exactly, that's exactly that what he sounds he's like. A dweeb. Is a dweeb. Does he actually sound like that? Kinda. My objective as Cruella de Vil is I need to start my turn with at least 99 captured puppies. So I start with these 12 tokens face down in my supply. Each one of these has a certain number of puppies on them along with the location. Whenever I flip one up, I put them into my realm at that location and then I need Horus or Jasper, who are my only two allies, to capture the puppies. Uh, Simdrum's objective is to defeat Omnidroid version 10 and have no heroes in your realm. So I have three different versions of the Omnidroid. I have version 8, which starts on my board. I have version X9 and version 10. Progressively have to eliminate the Omnidroids do certain things to bring a new one out, and then eventually defeat version 10 and have no heroes. Mm -hmm. All right, roll a die for a winner, chicken dinner. Roll it again. I win, I win on fours. Here we go. I'm gonna start off in the countryside. Okay, I'm gonna play condition. Wait, oh, what? <laughs> During the turn, if another player gains any power, you may play 15 years later. Reveal fate cards until you reveal a hero. Play that hero to any location in your realm. That hero gets negative two strength. Discard the rest. May I continue? So uh, rude. Yes, you may. So rudely interrupted. I can play two cards. I will 
Start off by playing Spotted. I'll play a condition. During their turn, if another player takes a play, a card action, you may play Who's Super Now? Gain power equal to the cost of the card played by your opponent. Dweeb. Dweeb. Do it. Play it. I dare you. It's only Actually, one power. Yeah, Uh, I'll go here. I'm gonna vanquish Violet with Omni Droid. He's gone. It's just that easy. <laughs> yep. I will play Spotted for one to reveal. Well, I guess I'll reveal that one. <laughs> I just flipped her right over. Jeff's gotta be the most annoying person to play villainous with because that's all he does. Fate, fate, fate. Paw Patrol! You just played... What did you just play? Ally. Oh. Ally. I will play... Bought and paid for. Capture one puppy token from Corella DeVille's location. <laughs> oh my god. That was totally wicked. Discard all allies and items from Syndrome's realm except for force fields. Wow. Clear the board! Wipe it! That felt good. That felt good. That was totally wicked! <laughs> that was punishing. <laughs> yeah. No that kidding, eh? Very punishing. All right, I could play a card. I'm gonna go here. I'll gain three power. That really cleared your board. Yeah, that really sucked. <laughs> that was I, was, awesome. I was honored. I was on a real good track. What? Oh, that's very annoying. That's very that's good. Annoying. Like my board, ding dong. You annoyed? No, I'm just thinking about what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna discard one. Um, Syndrome discards three cards from his hand. I will play. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Just give me a second. Okay, Jasper. I'm already packing up. All right. I will activate Jasper to capture some puppies. Oh, you need to start your turn. Mm hmm. Oh. I need to start my turn. Okay. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I have 99 puppies. Let's do it. They're both the same. Oh, they were? That's the game. Thank God! Do you know what really sucks? What? When you made me discard those three cards. Yeah. That was the game That was the game for me. Because yeah. I only have uh, four of them. Yeah, and I do it again. The point is that Crawl of oh, the Bill four, yeah. is victorious. And Jeff and I are... I was about to win. I was gonna win. I, I ha I've had. I've had. I had this in my hand, the remote, since the very beginning. All I needed was to get the three major mo modifications out. Yeah. So I, that turn that you made me discard all three. Yeah. I w I had enough that I could play both, get him out, and play the remote. The next turn. Funny how that works, isn't it? Yeah. How do you feel, Jamie? Tired. Yeah, I am tired. So that was matchup two, and we're already at uh, 3.30 in the afternoon. We're too competitive to just... I'm not going to throw a match. To just end Why it. Why would I do that? Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, Maleficent. Prince John. Ooh, OGs. The OGs. All right, next up we have Maleficent versus Prince John. A little OG, updated OG action. Maleficent, now go with a curse and serve me well. Prince John, this crown gives me a feeling of power. 
Mummy. I need to have at least 20 power and Robin Hood at the jail. And I have to have a curse at each location. So the way these have been updated from the original slightly. Maleficent has to have a curse at each location, but there must be an ally in order to play out a curse. That's the change. That's the change. Uh, the change for Prince John is uh, the Robin Hood trigger. So originally, all you had to have was 20 power. Start your turn with 20 power. Um, now you have to also have Robin Hood at jail, but it's not start of the turn. Roll first. Buck off. Three. Five. It's cocked. Six. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I'll play out a sinister goon. Right? Um, for two. And then for my second card, I will play out a cackling goon. <laughs> oh, shoot. When Robin Hood is revealed yep. or found, you must play him immediately to Sherwood Forest. Man, love that. Thank you. God damn. Shoot. Thank you. That's what happened to me in Gen Con. <sighs> I will uh, play out a curse. Green fire. Heroes cannot be played to this location. Oh, but I do have to discard it if Maleficent goes to that location. So Briar Rose's Cottage, kind of off limits. For me and for you. I'll go here. I will gain three. Oh, okay. I didn't fate you. Oh, that's okay. When King Seven is played, you may move Maleficent to any location. All right. Oh, you turn. Hmm. He's too easy. Stupid idiot. Stupid. I win. Do you have to, you just need to have it. You don't need to start. Did you defeat Robin Hood? He's already in jail. Oh my God. That is, he's so easy. He's so easy. They made her harder. They didn't make him the harder. The problem is you pulled Robin Hood immediately. Well, that is a problem, Jeff. Honestly, I'm not feeling very confident. I'm like, I'm looking at my characters and I'm like, why did I pick them, these ones? That aren't easy to win with. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oogie boogie. 80s. Watch out. It's time. It's crazy because we've never seen that. We don't know the fate cards. I don't know anything. Mm. It was a calculated risk, Jamie. I know, but I wanted to take it. We are playing Oogie Boogie versus Hades. Oogie Boogie. Looks like it's Oogie's turn to boogie now. Hades, everybody's got a weakness. <laughs> Oogie Boogie, this is the first time um, we've ever played with him, so no idea about anything. But my goal is to defeat Jack Skellington, and I essentially have to bring out four imposter Sandy Clauses. Um, and when I do that, then I can get rid of Sandy Claus and find Jack Skellington, which I assume is in here, place him in the lair and remove Sandy Claus from the game, and then I need to defeat Jack. Thing. Oh, uh, so Hades' objective is to get to start my uh, start Hades' turn with three Titans at Mount Olympus. So I'm going to be uh, getting Titans. They all I think start at the Underworld, and then I need to move them 
to Mount Olympus and then to stay at Mount Olympus and I need to have three of them at Mount Olympus at the start of my turn. It is not easy. Mm -hmm. uh, I find Hades is one of the more difficult ones to win with. Oogie Boogie also has dice, I forgot to mention. <laughs> it's the dice we've been using. Four. You're up. I usually always go to the three spot first, but that's where I started. We'll put Phil mm -hmm. out. A little Danny DeVito action. I can play a card. I will play. Oops. I forgot to start with two. You started with two? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's like, why are there so few? Um, I will play lock. Uh, I will play them here. So he gains plus one strength when shock is in play. Oh my god, I love the cards. I'll go here. Uh, I'll play one card. I'm gonna play Lethos to the Underworld. I can play a card and wouldn't you know it I have an imposter in my hand imposter Sandy Claus when Imposter Santa Claus is played, roll the dice. And then I'll so tell remember. me. Reduced by two. Yeah. And then that'll be gone. Phew. So, what is that? 11, 11 minus 2. 9. 9? So, just get rid of that card so you don't forget. Okay. So, that's good. When Imposter Santa Claus is played, roll the dice. On a result, 7 plus, place this card next to Sandy Claus. If Jack Skellington is in play, reduce his strength by one instead. On the result of six or less, discard this card. So he's going to go... I'll just put him right there. <laughs> you need four of those, right? Four of those. A boogie. Boogies. Boogers. Trick or treat. During that turn, if another player gains power, you may play trick or treat. Roll the dice. This is fun. Six, seven, eight. Um, on a result of 8+, plus, Oogie Boogie gains that same power on a result of 7. Same power? The amount. So, you get 3. Woo! Two-star queen. Two-star queen. If another player has 6 or more power, you may play Ruthless, play an ally or titan from your hand for free. Ally! I will play Hydros. I will be playing a Imposter Sandy Claus. So I have a nine, um, which means I get to put him up there. I put him up there mm -hmm. too early, but it doesn't matter because he's, he's up there. And I will play Imposter Sandy Claws. Okay, didn't get, didn't get it. What happened? I have to discard him. That sucks. I will play for my second card, making Christmas time for one, and I roll the dice. Those are sixes. No, yeah, those are both sixes. She's rolled tens, elevens, twelves every time. Except for the one time that I needed it just then. Came to power. I wish I was Prince John right now. <laughs> I'll play Imposter Sandy Claus. Jeez, how many are those in your hand? I will cheat to reroll one. my dice. Shoot, what was it? There's two and a, a one? one and a two. God damn it. That sucks. I'll fate you from my rage. Uh, reveal your hand, and I can choose one to discard. You suck. I will. Play Go the Distance. Jesus. Beep, beep. <laughs> oh, that's funny, isn't it? Oh, God, it's funny. so annoying. Funny how things happen. Four, five, six, seven. Didn't Can't get it. What? You take one from me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's stupid. Yeah, on a result of seven. No, I know. I'd rather you the other thing happen, though. No. 
Så att säga mig. Så att säga mig. Nej, jag är inte på den. Nej, nej. When there are four imposter Sandy Claws in a pile next to Sandy Claws, find Jack Skellington. Place him at Oogie Boogie's lair. Remove Sandy Claws from your skin. Oh, Jack! Bye, Sandy. That's all I need to do. Defeat old Jackie boy. Have a good college, everybody. Want to know the difference between when Jamie is doing well and when she's not? Have a good college, everybody. Not around here, partner. Not around here. Pull my dice. Got a twelve. Paul searched his hair file for an ally. Place that ally in ally ally in Oogie Boogie's hand. Yeah. I will pay three and put out the card I've been looking for the entire game, which is Chariot. Oh, Chariot, your golden wings. I will go here. I will fake you. Pop, pop. Perform a vanquish action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's two games in a row that Jamie... You getting Hercules out there screwed me. I was, I had it. Woo! <laughs> Oogie boogie! I think he is the most fun to play because of the dice. This is I needed how this you the entire this game. This is. Three, two, one. Madam Mim. Pete. All right, folks, we're gonna take a break. You'll know nothing about it. We'll be back eventually, someday, maybe, we'll see. All right, we are back with game number five. five. So two, two. we are nearly halfway there. Even Stevens. Even Stevens. Um, yeah, so I am playing Madam Mim. Jeff is playing as Pete. Yeah. So, Madam Mim. Want to fight? Want to have a wizard's duel? That's how she would say it. Pete is one of the best. I'm gonna knock you right into next week. I picture him doing one of these. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, my objective is to defeat all of Merlin's transformation. So Madame Nim is quite different. Uh, Merlin has a deck full of transformation cards and in my deck I have cards that I can specifically play to defeat each type of Merlin's transformation mm -hmm. okay there always needs to be at least one transformation on the board if one is defeated another one will immediately come out to the dueling ground I don't have a vanquish action there are no heroes in my deck I am just trying to defeat all of his transformations Pete's objective is pretty straightforward I have four uh, goals on my board, I'm allowed to look at them at any time. Once they're flipped up, they can't be flipped back down. Uh, but basically, uh, as soon as I complete all four goals, I win. Uh, there are five to start the game. You randomly select four and put them on the board. And that is it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Roll a die. Five, five. You keep rolling the same. You're up. And you're allowed to look at your goals. Yeah. Remember that time that I played and I forgot? Yeah, you thought it was like you had to remember them. Yeah, you do not. FYI. I'll play Parrot 2 Pond Podunk Landing. <laughs> when Parrot is played, choose a card from your discard pile and put it in your hand. I don't have any. And Crocodile Mim. For two. That's my turn. Crocodile Dundee. So the crocodile can only defeat Turtle Merlin, and the chicken can only defeat Caterpillar Merlin. You have to watch this movie. This would make Mim so much more interesting. When you go here, I'll get three power and play horse. Whose horse is that? Gain three power. I will gain two because I'm as big as a house. Oh, uh, I gained an extra power. Excuse right. me, why? 
I'm not cheating. I'll pay one. Um, and I'll look at the top two cards of the Merlin Transformation deck and I can put them back in any order. Good to know. Good to know. I will. All will. All will. I will play a like card. Kentucky folk. I'll make the rules. Pay four to defeat a Merlin transformation. Jeez, man. One will come out automatically. How many of these do you have in your deck? I don't. I don't know. I might just have those two. I don't have any more in hand. If that's helpful. This one also is completed. Start your turn with more allies than heroes at each location. Start your turn. Did you just put all those out? <laughs> well, I'll go here and I'll bait you. Damn it, Jeff, you ding dong. Read the card, man. Swap gold tokens, but obviously I, I won't. I don't want to do that. Yeah, do you want to put it no, here? No, I'm good. Right here. I will play. I make my I own hate rules. That card. And I will defeat a transformation. I will pull one out. It's ridiculous. I will fate you. Here we go. The fate, 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 fate. I'll play Clarabelle. I just need to find a friggin' crocodile in my deck. I make the Are rules. you shuffling? Yes, Jeff, I did shuffle. Um, so I can defeat this. Well, I may as well just make it simple. Game two, I'll play. I make the rules. That was dumb. Madam Nim wins. Well, I had fun. Yeah. Winning. Gaston. Scar. Gaston with broken board. Gaston in two pieces, like Olin. It's frustrating to me that it's 3-2 and one of my wins has come from a lot. <laughs> yeah. That shit disturbs me to see you, Gaston. Looking so down in the dumps. Everyone here wants to be you, Gaston. You're everyone's favorite guy. Our next matchup is Gaston versus Scar. Scar. Gaston. Don't I deserve the best? I had to memorize it, you see, because I broke the board. <laughs> Scar's is... Long live the king. The king. Roll them up. Or do you want to use this as your mover? That would actually be really cool, though. That would be cool, yeah. All right. Three, five. Okay, so my objective is to remove all eight obstacles so on my board there's these little like diamondy tokens i need to remove those which i can do by playing out cards vanquishing certain heroes that kind of thing uh scar's objective is to start uh scar's turn with at least 15 strengths in the succession pile uh so i will have a separate succession pile i can't put so anytime i defeat a hero it will go into the succession pile but I can't put those heroes in that pile until I defeat Mufasa. Mufasa is the first one that needs to go in the succession pile. And then everything after that, all heroes after that, will go then into the succession pile. So Mufasa, Mufasa! Which honestly is not great. Yeah. I don't think I've ever won with Gaston either, to be honest. I'm gonna go here. Oh, two power each. Right. Mm. That's it. So you didn't play two cards? Nope. Why did you want me to? All right, Jeff. You, know, you need Mufasa. You gonna hit me right off the hop? Right, you need Mufasa. I do need Mufasa to come out of it. Yeah. Oh, I did not want to fate you. There's certain ones that I need out too, yeah. Yeah. Beast. Yeah. And Maurice. The two freaking cards I just drew. <laughs> yup. Unbelievable. First. First. Sure. 
Um, beautiful as me. During their turn, if another player takes four or more actions, you took all the actions, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, you may remove one obstacle token. Um, choose a hyena who is not at Scar's location. You may perform one available action at that hyena's location. I'll choose to fate you. Dang it. Dang. Dang. Gosh, it disturbs me to see. No obstacles can be removed while Bell is in play. Bell. You all uh, die. That's my turn. I think I'm gonna do it. Come on, Mufasa. What's life with Mufasa? Those Mufasa, 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 Mufasa! Hyenas cannot have a strength of two or more. Mm. Simba. And play Long Live the King. Long Live. Reveal the top four cards in your fate deck. You may play one hero, discard the rest. I wonder which one he'll two, play. Three, four. Time to start fading you. You may play one. Second card. It's like I, I could have been one. fading you this whole time. You play Long Live the King. Long Live the King! One, two, three, four. Uh -oh. Un Don't show Kyle. Unbelievable. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful place. Of course he's. I could literally have been fading you this whole time. Unbelievable. Hero, defeats castle, remove an obstacle. Uh, You're fifty percent to your goal. I'm zero percent. It's me. I swear to God, Jeff, if you come back and win this, I won't. There's no way. How? Finally, I'm making progress. Mm -hmm. Now James is proud of me, because mm -hmm. I've been complaining this whole time. Go ahead. I don't want to hear it anymore. Ever I, again. No. Uh, let me say my piece. He still sucks. Okay. He just sucks more. Yeah. He still sucks at two play. You almost quit. Yeah. I, And rightfully so. I should have just let you. Well, Jeff won. No one saw that coming. Scar? I sure didn't. Next. Ursula. Queen of Hearts. Oh, another OG matchup. All right, next up we have Ursula, the Sea Witch, versus the Queen of Hearts, the Witch of the Heart Kingdom. Ursula, the sea and all its spoils bow to my power. If I lose my temper, you lose your head. So Ursula is one of the updated original characters. Um, I believe that they have made her more balanced, but if I'm being totally honest with you, I don't remember because I haven't played with her in so long. Um, but my objective is have the trident and the crown at Ursula's lair. So both the trident and crown are in my deck and, my, and the heroes in my fate deck are gonna mess with that. I also don't have a vanquish. I have to play contracts in order to defeat heroes. Uh, Queen of Hearts objectives are to have a wicket at each location and successfully take a shot. So I'll be putting out cards, which I can turn to turn into wickets. And then I have a card that says, uh, take a shot. And then I'll draw cards off of my deck. And if the total Equals or is more, I think, than the wicket value. Mm -hmm. I win immediately. Roll a die to see who goes. Whoop! And to see who goes first. We've done that so many times today. We've also done that so many times today. And then I will pay one power to turn it into a wicket. I don't. I'll go here. Then I can discard, but I will not. Did you just see my hand? Nope. Didn't even look. I'm gonna go here, take one. I'll play with the crown. Take two. I can move a mm. hero. I'll move a hero there. I can move a card. I'll move the card there. 
That's my turn. Yeah. That's my turn. That's my turn. Mm -hmm. Jeff, I guarantee, has to take a shot in his hand already. I wish that I had a way to make you discard your whole hand. It's possible I do. I'm going to pay one, put out a card guard. I'll card activate card. it to turn it into a wicket by paying another power. You just got to do that one more time and then take a shot. I should probably. Uh, I, I can probably play something. a second card. We're at Royal Warge. And then... I will play Trident to the shore. Wow. I... <laughs> Ooh. All right, then let's do that. We'll make Alice big. It's King Trident. When King Trident is played, remove the... Move the trident and crown to his location. What a party pooper. We'll play. Poor unfortunate souls for four. Defeat a hero. You may move one unattached item towards Ursula's lair. I did it. I just... This is gonna Two sound... Things. First thing. This is gonna sound like me complaining. And it is. <laughs> That's because it is. But I need to note, in multiple games today, I have been one turn away from winning. And I'm about to show you why. Jamie played Cheshire Cat. Yes, I did. Converts things. Yes, it does. I have had these in my hand for five, six turns. Yeah. And every time she'd fate me, she would get the perfect card mm -hmm. in order to not allow that to happen. I had enough power to do it. Can I just do it quick? Yeah. I just want to see. You do it. So you let's just say it. I was able to do it. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I also think that's the first time I've ever lost this Queen of Hearts. Uh, yeah, I think it might be. So it would need to be less than eleven. And I need to pull how many is it? Five. <laughs> Zero, three, five, six, seven. Did you do it? Yep. Good job. The luck of your draws, at, in terms of the timing, has been insanity. What can I say, Jeff? The universe yeah. wants you to win this tournament. Ugh, oh, don't I know it? I want it too! All right, you set up for the next. Three, two, one, the Horned King. Right, Dr. Facilier. Oh, so if Jamie wins about. one more match, she's won the tournament. No, six. six. I mean, six. I've only won four. Four. Two more. The Horned King... Versus Dr. Facilier. Horn King. Arise, my messengers of death. Our time has arrived. That's spooky. I got friends on the other side. I got friends on the other side. I need to have cauldron born at each location. So mm -hmm. I start with the black cauldron off to the side. Something's gonna happen that allows me to move this onto my board. I then have to activate it, whoop, flipping it over, which is going to allow me to convert soldiers ancient into soldiers. ancient soldiers into cauldron born. Mm -hmm. I need to have at least one at each location. Correct. I'll just mention too, uh, once you have the black cauldron, it can't be taken away. Yeah, can't so take just it. For, just for context. No take backs. Uh, Dr. Facilier's objective is to control the talisman. So that's a card in my deck. Uh, and successfully rule New Orleans. Nah, so it's... I'll be doing that because I have a fortune pile. Rule New Orleans is a card that will go to my fortune pile. I have abilities that will allow me to basically play cards in my fortune pile. And if I play rule New Orleans, then and I have the talent spin, I will win. Yeah. Finally. Alrighty, Jeff. Let's go. Why would I want Henwen? And hmm. I can play a card, so I will play a Cauldron Born for zero. Nope. What? Um, you don't have the Black Cauldron. <gasps> Forget you saw that. 
Pinky in the choir. Oh. I will play out. We got you now, Pig Keeper, for two. And I will uh, find and play Henwen. I think Henwen gives you the buck. Yes. That's why I was like, why do I care about Henwen? Um, find and play. Where did you put that down? <laughs> okay. While Henwen is in play... Uh, actually, I'm going to put some there. When Henwen is in play, the Horn King cannot play effect cards. When Henwen is vanquished, the Horn King claims the Black Cauldron. Mm -hmm. I will play Big Daddy mm -hmm. LaBeouf. Um, when Big Daddy LaBeouf is played, you may choose a card from the fortune pile. I don't have it. Uh, and return it to Dr. Celia's deck. That's fine. Shuffle all discarded fate cards back into the Horn King's fate deck. Draw two new fate cards and play them both. Both! That's dirty. And then I shuffle all discarded fate deck cards back into the Horn King's fate deck. Draw two new and play them both. Yeah. Combo. Combo City. We'll be gone so we get to reveal the card. Ta -da! Choose an ally in Dr. Facilier's realm and put that ally into the fortune pile. They're all bad. They're all allies, right? Yeah. I will vanquish Hen Wen. Mm -hmm. Um, and then You get the black cauldron. Oh. You love to see it. Power, I will fate you. This card's a cool hand, and then I'm gonna play five more fate cards. Shuffle all discarded fate cards back into the horn king. This thing. is so annoying. To play rule New Orleans. Yep, I already knew that you had that in your hand. Yeah. Because I remember I got to look at your deck. Oh. Come on, Jeff. This is stupid. How many of, is that the same one you keep there's, pulling? I think there's two or three of them. I think there's two. Stupid. Annoying. 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 You just put them back in and you shuffle them and you play two more. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Do it. Go ahead. Give me, discard my whole hand and then shuffle them again and play two more because that's exactly what you're going to do. You're fading me again, or you're about to win? Figures. Can I go here? Freaking figures. Probably because I had to discard my hand 17 oh, times. Three. Play the talisman. In response. For my second card play, I'll pay one. I'll play the cards will tell. Oh. Nope. Why? I have to be here. Do that. This is here we go. There's the downfall. <laughs> I will play pay one to play the cards will tell. If Dr. Facilier is at the Voodoo Emporium, which I am, shuffle the fortune pile, reveal three random cards from it, and resolve their fortune abilities in any order. One, two, three. If you control the talisman, you win the game. If not, return Rule of New Orleans to the fortune pile. Rats! Well, I'll do this. What do you think of him? I like him actually. Yeah, yeah he's not bad. <sighs> Except for one thing, his fate deck is a trash fire. Uh, one thing too. Garbage city. I mean, what? So we add a stalemate. Hmm? Well, what am I doing? <laughs> Why am I giving him to you? Four four. It's been a long day. Okay, we're at. Four, four. We have three matchups left. Jeff and I are gonna call it a night because it has been what if? a long day. What I if it, it might come down to the last game. That is somewhat strategic on like leaving someone last. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Just in case, but also it's like we should pick who we're gonna play tomorrow. Okay, sure.
Because somebody has to win six games, and we've each won four. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. You ready? Mm -hmm. Three. I think mine's upside down, but whatever. Two, one, Lady Tremaine. Jafar. All right. That's how we'll start our morning. Did you just eat Kit Kats? Why? I can smell them. Really? <laughs> yeah. All right, we're back. Day two, because we just couldn't do everything in Look one day. Look how disrespectful you are to your Oops. champions. They were partying last night from all their wins. So we have three matchups left. We are even Stevens right best now. Best of three now. At we're, four. We're down to best of three. Four to four. Um, And so the first match of today is actually Lady Tremaine versus Jafar. So Lady Tremaine, above all self control. Finally, you bow to me. A I am Jafar. am I? All right, so we both start with a locked location. Uh, and my objective is to marry Drizella or Anastasia to the prince. So Lady Tremaine is a little bit different. I have a ballroom spot where I can literally only play certain characters. So once it's unlocked. Yes. Ballroom Cinderella, the prince, ballroom Anastasia, ballroom Drizella. I can't put out ballroom Cinderella, which is actually in the fate deck, um, Anastasia or ballroom Drizella, unless I have them out already in their everyday dress. There's no vanquish action for Lady Tremaine. I can trap heroes. Um, I can activate to get rid of different things, but essentially I'm trying to marry off one of my evil daughters to the prince. Get that get that money. Uh, Jafar also has a locked location, the Cave of Wonders. Um, so I'll need a certain card to come out in order to unlock the Cave of Wonders, which is the first trigger to me reaching my end game, which is to start my turn with the magic lamp at Sultan's Palace and to have Genie under my control. Mm -hmm. Roll for first. Six. No. Five. Five. Five to one. You love to see it. Your board is janked. All right. Here we go. Uh, and then I'll fate you. Aha! Vicious Practical Jokes. During their team, if another player targets it, targets you with a fate, you may play Vicious Practical Jokes. Of the two fate cards chosen, you pick which one and where it's placed. Mm -mm -mm. I don't want Ballgown Cinderella. Fairy Godmother can play Ballgowns even if she's not in play. Brutal. Very brutal. Did you get what you needed? <laughs> wouldn't tell you anyway. Why? That's me. Vicious practical jokes, and I get to choose. Ah, oh, it's the prince! He must be played immediately. <laughs> so there's no choice. I will play Anastasia. I mean, not. Okay, so I'm gonna put her here, because she can't be played to the ballroom. I'm gonna play Bibbidi Bobbidi Boop. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boop. Oh, I always God. thought it was Bibbidi Bobbidi Boop, not Boo. No, Jack. Silly boy. And I will play ball gown Anastasia. I will finally play Scarab Pendant. Unlock Cave of Wonders. When I draw cards, I draw one extra. So right now I'll just be drawing normal because be drawing of Jasmine. Normal. Play a card. I know she has it in her hand. It must just cost a lot. Does it wait, Jeff? Let me actually do it. Jeez, Louise. All right, I'll go here. I will play Wedding Bells. For four. I will activate Wedding Bells. And Anastasia and the Prince will live happily ever after. Three, two, one, Yzma. She's going for the kill shot. You win this matchup, you win. I know it. All right, we're at 5-4. If I win this one, I win everything. It's Yzma versus Captain Hook. Yzma, our moment of triumph approaches. How fitting. Double the powder and shorten the fuse. Mm -hmm. 
Yzma needs to defeat Cusco using Kronk. Her fate is a little bit different. So there's four fate piles. So I'm searching for Cusco in my fate piles. Um, and I need to get Kronk from this deck and he needs to be played down here. Uh, Kronk, however, is he's conflicted. So he can be my ally or he can turn into a hero. So he can kind of move back and forth, but I need to defeat Cusco using Kronk. Captain Hook's objective is to defeat Peter Pan at the Jolly Roger. So I need to get Peter Pan, I need to get him over to the Jolly Roger, and then I need to vanquish him. That's right. Let me go here, and take three. And you can fate me. Hmm? No, I am not fading you unless I have to. I will play eavesdrop. For two, choose one of your fate decks, look at all the cards, shuffle, and return. Okay. For my second card, I will play eavesdrop. And I will choose another fate deck to look through. Okay. When wrong lever is revealed, you must immediately play it. Wrong lever! Why do we even have that level? So where do these go? Is he in there? No, you're shuffling though. Is. What do you mean? Not only did I shuffle, brutal. but then I did four different piles. Oops. I will play eavesdrop for two and I will look. <laughs> and that's the game well just because i know where he is doesn't mean nothing choose a hero from your discard pile shuffle that hero and up to two of yzma's fate decks together deal the cards as evenly as possible to replace the shuffled decks Very annoying. I will play after them. Choose one of your fate decks, reveal all the cards, play all revealed heroes to that location. I have a 50 50 shot. And I made the wrong decision, but I have to play Bucky. God, that sucks. That's sucky. Bucky. Annoying. Yeah. Where are you, Cusco? Why can't I find you? I have no I'll play two. I'll play out ingenious device. Lost boys. So you can start minding your own business. I will vanquish John. With squash, squash buckler. Squash buckler. That's my turn. Gain two power. Reveal. Please, be here. <laughs> he went there. Well, he's got to be there somewhere, Do Jeff. You know how many games of villainous we've played in this tournament that the thing I've needed has been the bottom of the deck. There's many. three cards left. Yeah. Many, 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 many. Because I'll fate you. He's the very last card. Jesus. <laughs> Is he in there? The fact that you made no face tells me. That's where he is. Maybe I have a good poker face. Pop, 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 poker face. Pop, pop, poker face. Ma, 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 ma. Well, it has to be one of two piles, Jeffy. Why'd you say that? Because you shuffled him into those two piles. Did I? Yep. Yeah, show did. Uh, show did. I'll play Pacha. Pacha! Let me shuffle two of Yusma's fate decks together. And so I'll do this one and this one. You're trying to throw me off. <sighs> so annoying. I had him. I'm play a swashbuckler here. You're a swashbuckler. 
I will play after them. Reveal one of your fate decks, reveal all cards, play all revealed heroes to that location. Did he try and fool me? Damn it. I have to play all heroes? That's a rough one. Um, I will play, for my second card, a Cruel Irony. If there is an ally at your location, choose an effect from the discard pile, pay its cost, play it again. So I will do after them again. <laughs> Please be in this one. Oh! <sighs> Shoot. What if he's hiding? Imagine it was some like misprint. Or we just like, the card is just somewhere else because I have you... all the decks to the side. So I look at two, I don't have to reveal them. I can uh, either discard both or return them to the top in any order. Do I want to be a... Yeah, you're, it's a tournament. You want to win. but I don't want you to be upset. I would do the... <laughs> I would do it to you. All right, I'll fate you. Oh, there's Peter Pan. Let's not play him. I'm just getting real spicy with it. I will play after them. Choose and reveal one of your fate decks. Reveal all the cards. Look at that. Cusco and Bucky. Cusco has been discovered, but I still have to defeat Chaka and Tippo first. I go here, move Peter Pan, use this for. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All I needed was an ally, and do you think that I could get one? Oh, I didn't stand a chance. I didn't stand a chance. Well, Jeff, this will be it. Radigan versus the Evil Queen. Down to the final possible matchup, though. I know. It's what? bonkers. What are the odds? Honestly, not very good. Just need to defeat Snow White, that little turd. If I lose this game, I might quit Villainous forever. Forever. Um, our last matchup, it has come to a sudden death round, really. So we are playing Evil Queen versus Radican. So the Evil Queen, I'll be the fairest in the land. Oh, this is wicked. So delightfully wicked. Mm -hmm. So Evil Queen must defeat Snow White. She functions differently because of quite a few things. Number one, the first thing that I need to do is I need to get the Dwarves, whoops, dwarves Cottage unlocked. Um, one thing that's different with her is she actually has a brew action. So I need to brew potion and in order to be able to do certain things. So I convert power into potion by brewing. I don't have a vanquish action. I need to find Snow White in the hero deck and I need to get her to take a bite. And there's a card somewhere in this deck I don't know if there's more than one. Hopefully like, not at the bottom. I think it's the same as Queen of Hearts, like the take a shot. Is there more than one take a shot card? Yes. Okay, so I, I assume it's the same, but there's a take a bite card that I need to play at the same location as Snow White and get her to take a bite and die. Radigan's objective is actually unique. So he's got two possible objectives, depending on board state. So the initial objective is to start the turn my turn, with the Robot Queen at Buckingham Palace. The Robot Queen is something I can play into my realm. If she ever gets discarded, then my objective actually is going to flip, and then I become Radigan the Rat, and my sole objective is to defeat Basil. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I forgot to mention, in order for me to unlock the cottage, I have to play four unique ingredients which are also, they act as like the same as effect cards. So I'll put them here. And when I get four, I unlock the cottage. Good luck, Jamie. Good luck, Jeffrey. Good, good way to start for you. Hopefully, all right. 
own it, Jamie. You own need it. to own it. Own it, Jamie. Um, which is my fourth ingredient, so I will unlock the cottage. Choose an unlock location in your realm. You may move each hero with a strength of three or less from that location to an adjacent location. No, I don't think I'd like to do that. <laughs> Toby. Toby has played. You may move a hero to any location. To... To win? I'll take a bite. And I only have to pay three because the huntsman is there. <laughs> I'm so happy. That's all I ever wanted. You were close though. I had you next turn. Yeah. Oh, thank God. If you hadn't, I I wouldn't have won if you I hadn't had, gained I, three power. I thought I had you that turn. Mm -hmm. It just I didn't have the available. So you you covering that? Yeah. Me. So if you hadn't gained a power, three power, I wouldn't have gotten one more from the supply. I wouldn't have had enough. Mm. Uh, but I guess I would have because I forgot about the huntsman. She only gave a three. She did it, everyone. So now we can be happy because otherwise I don't know if I'd be able to live here. <laughs> Look at my little purple team. Loki. Cruella. <sighs> Jeff, I just gotta say it. I'm winning a lot on camera. You've won already two years in a row. If I would have lost for a third year in a row. You were a turn away from that being a reality. Well, guess what? I'm a winner. Anyways, everyone. She's that happy. Is... I'm happy because Jamie won. It's a win-win. That is our third annual Villainous Tournament. Now, Jeff and I have been discussing. I think we'll probably do it a little bit differently next year because there's just too many characters and this is a two-day affair. Yeah. So next year we'll have an announcement about what we're gonna do when the time comes but just a reminder once again we do have a giveaway for this tournament you have the opportunity to win introduction to evil as well as filled with fright which is the oogie boogie set so make sure to put your favorite disney villain down below now if you're interested in buying board games thank you to ravensburger yeah thank you to ravensburger for giving us that sweet hat and the t-shirt i wore yesterday and for sponsoring the giveaway yeah. now if you're interested in buying board games like villainous you should first start by looking at your friendly local gaming store and for us that is the boardroom game cafe exactly i will also want to give a huge shout out to our channel sponsors rascalers that is the table this beauty look look how like we gotta get the brush out hold on jeff 10 steps ahead of you. Yeah, yeah. You're knocking all your characters over. Everything's okay. Wait, let's get over okay. here. Okay. Everything's okay. I've knocked everybody down. Anyway, shout out to our channel sponsors, uh, Raskellers, for providing us with this amazing table review coming soon. Uh, but everything that you've seen, we've played on this table with these beautiful lights and the beautiful Foster the Meeple logo. You'll love to see it. This table is chef's kiss incredible mm -hmm. now do you like snacks i do perfect where do people tend to find snacks lunch pack exactly snacks from around the world we have five dollar coupon that is everything for today if you like what you see please subscribe we hope to see you again soon and now we say goodbye goodbye Later days. draft we need a die i wonder oh and we got Mr. Oogie Boogie here too. What's one? Oh, no. Did you want to talk about the giveaway? Yes, I do. That's what I I dropped all my power on the table. It's about the extent of the power you're going to have in the next eight hours. So, goddamn. Yeah, can you get shit together? Just kidding. I'm ready. Three. Do the countdown. Worky. Oh, I think my butt is a little bit too.
because there's no reason to have that shelf there. Oh, Jeff, tell me how you really feel. Um, okay, so you need to go to the bathroom. You need to pee? You have pee pee? Go ahead, go pee pee. <laughs> Good luck, me. All right, pee. All right, so my objective is I need to have cauldron born in each loud car that drives by. Who was your favorite ones to play with? I'll tell you mine. Oogie Boogie was super fun. Queen of Hearts is always going to be. Madam one. Mim is always fun. I really like Captain Hook. Yzma is always fun. Jafar really bugged me. So Horn King gone. was also really fun. Uh, I like Dr. Vasilier. I also like Evil I do King. also like Rapkin. He's very fun. Hades I do love frustrated Cruella. me. Scar's frustrating. Ursula? Frustrating. You can go back Prince to John's the ocean. John's kind of just meh. Pete's fun. I do. I, uh, I had a... Oh, wait. I forgot I had these two duds I on think my these team. are mine. Congratulations, Jamie. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. I've dreamt about this day. Go tell years. everyone. Most I can't tell anyone, Jack, until the video comes out. These are secrets. Probably, I bet we've made so many mistakes that people are like, well, technically Jamie wouldn't have won this one because she did this and this wrong. And technically Jeff wouldn't have won this one because he did this and this wrong. And then we're gonna sit there and we'll be like, technically we don't care. <laughs>